much for joining, for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I really appreciate that. Now, if you play this game, you're old. <laughs> actually, you're not. You're actually younger than you think. Now, I don't know where this game started from or where this game was um, first um, introduced, but what I think and what I believe is in carrying on this. Um, but it's a pretty interesting game. Um, it, remind, it's, it reminds me of uh, the good old days. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, how to make this interesting uh, yo-yo, as they call it. It's pretty relaxing. Um, it's all we could afford those days, you know, there was no um, game stores or toy shops, if you may call it that way. And if they were, they were pretty expensive, I, I think. So, what you need is a plier, a string or a thread, depending where you're coming from, a hammer, but those days the hammer you know what it used to be, a stone, okay, or a rock, and the bottle top. Now, I got this bottle top from uh, um, one of the drinks around. Um, normally, it looks different from how it is now. I actually got it. Got it. So the bottle top was that from normal soda or Fanta before you open it. It does into that, okay. And after you make that into that, we're gonna make two holes in it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the two holes. Yeah, and that's where our strings are gonna go through. Okay, so with your plier, you can flatten it. I'm not gonna smash it on the floor right here because I don't wanna destroy the floor or the carpet. So you're gonna make it flat. I remember this game, um, those days used to be a really big game for us growing up. Um, if you grew, you must have played this game. Otherwise, I don't know. Um, but I think it's still famous in some other countries. People still do it or still make them for their kids. But sometimes it can be dangerous to, to spin it around, especially with those kids who are really curious about trying to cut other things. Um, I didn't want to hit it here, so I'll just do that. So you're going to hit that to flat. And then, with your string, you're going to do that. So make sure that it's nice and pointy. Because I realized that I made uh, my the holes that I made were really tiny and small, but it should go through. Uh, there we go. Pull that out. Oh, it's trying to misbehave. I'll just chop it off again. When you're playing this game during those days, we'll try and see who's yo-yo. And that's the bottle top is sharp enough to cut the other one's string. And it used to be really fun, you know. Um, I don't think kids of nowadays will understand this kind of game. Um, because it's kind of getting out of um, fashion now. There's other better games to play uh, or toys to play around with. But still, it's just good to remind us of the good old days. It's dying. It's a, it's a game that is dying, but I, I just want to try to see if I can revive it and bring it back. I hope. Now with this, the second hole, because the, the, bottle, it's, the bottle is on the other side and the Make sure, your hands are, make sure your hands are clean before you do this, guys. It's COVID. Stop texting me. Um, then you pull it out. This can take you actually less than five minutes to make. 
depending on how fast you are with your hands. Okay? Stop touching me. And I'm gonna cut it. And the two sides where the strings are meeting, that's where you're gonna tie it up together, nice and tight. That's not the best that you is it? Um, there you go. There you go. And now, so normally some people do it differently, but how we used to do it, and I think how most people do it, you just to put, you just keep put two hands or two fingers, the middle fingers, like that. So that's how your final um, look is supposed to be. And you're gonna spin it around. Spin it, spin it, spin it until it's, you start feeling tight on your fingers and then you can start doing that. And that's the African yo-yo. Let me know in the comments below if it's not an African yo-yo. But I think it is. Because this is what we used to use those days. Before other people knew about it. Yeah? What do you think? Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty calming. If you do that, it's just pretty calming. And sometimes you'll just, you know, like sometimes you'll do it as hard as you can and it will produce a certain sound, you know? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. Amazing. We used to, like, you know, we used to just bring together to each other and try to see if they can cut, you know, just to see who's going to be the toughest, you know? So one, 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 one side will do the same, the other person will do the same thing, and then try to bring it closer to the other one and see which one is going to cut. One of the best things that I had in my life when I was a kid, it's good to have it. To try that one more time, it's not, it's, not, it's not lining up, but that's fine. There you go. That's how you know how to make the yo-yo. Try this. Make it for a friend. Remind them, give them good old days, you know. Make it a birthday gift for someone. Just take them to them and ask them, do you, have you ever done this before? Do you know this, you know. Especially if they're growing from Africa. Just make, make it and keep it in a box and take, them, take it to them as a gift. And they open up, they find it's an African yo-yo, you know. Very simple, very easy to make, very cheap. You just need a string and a bottle top. You don't even need this tool. Sometimes you just need a rock and a nail. You just nail it up. There you go. Thank you so much, friends. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. There's more which is going to come up soon. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, thank you so much and let's have fun with life. Be blessed.